<laughs> test, test, test. Test, test, test. American Bank, we are committed to making a meaningful and positive impact in the schools and businesses within our community. Like a Hail Mary, throw to win the game. We are here to help you every step of the way to take care of your financial goals. We are dedicated to helping you score big while we strive to make a big impact in our community. American Bank is a proud supporter of the Rems and St. Mary's football and volleyball teams, and we are wishing them a happy and successful season. Bump up the spirit and cheer on the Hawks to victory. American Bank, achieving success together. Member FDIC. Welcome to your new home from Ida Grove Home. Your new home is strong. It's built with state-of-the-art indoor construction techniques and expertise in a controlled environment. Your new home is tough with exceptional energy efficiency and lower maintenance costs. Your new home is an outstanding value. We deliver homes faster at a lower cost with guaranteed pricing. Your new home is unique with endless floor plan and design options. Check them out at our website. So stop by Ida Grove Home and let us introduce you to your new home. Hello everyone, welcome back to Fuller Digital Solutions, St. Mary's Hawks football. It's week two for playoff football. I'm Ryan Hayek and joining me tonight is Jim Wesselman. Jim, what's with uh, you and I doing the only cold games? Yeah, this is, uh, well last year was a lot worse <laughs> yeah. at, uh, where was that, Glidden Ralston? Yep. Oh yep. my goodness. And that was we something we weren't prepared for it either. No, we're inside tonight, so that's a little bit of an advantage, but uh, yeah, we got another cold one tonight, so... Tonight's matchup will be the 9-0 Rims and St. Mary's Hawks against the 8-1 Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears. Jim, I believe this is probably the first contest between the two teams when it comes to the football field. I think it is because I'm not sure how long Garrigan's had uh, eight-man football. Uh, it's, yeah, about four years I think yeah. it is. Yeah. So this is the first matchup between the Hawks and the Golden Bears, and, and what a time to meet in the second round of playoffs. So... Uh, let's go over the uh, Smith Insurance pregame. I was able to talk to coach, head coach Tim Osterman for the Hawks this morning. Offensively, they need to take care of the ball. They need to establish a running game and stay ahead of those chains, Jim. Very important to do that. Uh, defensively, they need to uh, find some turnovers. Yeah, yep. It's so crucial to get some turnovers, especially this time in the game, and, and get the Garrigan Golden Bears behind chains, force them in predictable downs. Jim, I think last week was probably the most efficient I've seen them offensively, the Hawks. They looked very well. Landon very sharp. Looked, Landon looked like he knew where the ball was going. The guys on the back end were making plays with Colin Holman and Braxton Knipe. I hope that trends here tonight, too, because well, that was probably the best game offensively I've seen last week. And the thing with Landon, I, I thought he took the initiative and he wasn't uh, reluctant to, to be on the move. And he did. He made some great decisions and whatnot. The only thing I worry about, and you would know better than, than I – playing in this uh, environment, hanging on to the ball. You know, your hands are cold, your fingers are cold. You definitely want to keep your hands as warm as you can as a quarterback. The ball's going to be a rock hard. You know, it's not like the NFL's where they're warming up for you on the <laughs> sidelines. So um, that will probably play a little bit of factor. We'll see. Uh, both these quarterbacks are pretty similar, dual-threat quarterbacks. Uh, you know, uh, the Garrigan's quarterback, he th he's more thrower than runner, but he can he's still capable to take mm -hmm. down and run the ball. So... This should be, on paper, that's very similar teams. Both explosive offenses and defensively, they create a lot of turnovers. So it'll be interesting to see tonight which way that unfolds, which team is going to stay who they are. Which one has the advantage. Yeah, yep. and so that might be the uh, deciding factor when it comes to tonight's game. Uh, but it is a beautiful night. A little bit of win. I don't think it's going to be enough to decide not to throw the ball. No. So that that's huge for us and, and maybe a little bit better for Bishop Garrigan because they throw the ball a little bit more. But, uh, boy, I tell you what, we're in for a good one tonight. It's about, what, 35 degrees, 36 yeah, supposed, degrees. It's supposed to get down to 26 by yeah, the night's end. Live here in Algona, beautiful facilities. So, yeah, stick around with us. That's the Smith Insurance pregame. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. It's Hawk Football. 
family has been providing trusted funerals since 1943, when Joseph and Adele Fish bought Remsen's only funeral home. Beginning in 1976, Joe's son Joel and his wife Jean continued the tradition of being a family-owned and operated business. In 2009, David and Elizabeth Fish carried the family tradition into the future and now offer monuments. The Fish family is honored to assist you in your time of need, offering care and compassion. Fish Funeral Home and Monuments in Remsen, our family serving your family since 1943. Floyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible, keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. Welcome back to Fuller Digital Solutions Hawks football. Let's go over your starting lineup offensively for the Hawks. At quarterback will be number seven, Landon Walshmitt. He's 190 pounds junior. At your tailback position will be number 26, Brady Coint, 215 pound junior. At uh, slot position will be number three, Keaton Harpenau, 165 junior. At your tight ends position will be number 55, Colin Holman, 225-pound junior. At the other tight end position will be number 18, Braxton Knipe, 180-pound tight end junior. At your line position, at center will be number 52, Ty Tritz. He's 245 pounds senior. At the guard position will be number 44, Hunter Pick, another 245-pounder senior. And at the other guard position will be number 76, Lennon Steichen, 245-pound uh, junior. Uh, Jim, uh, I tell you what, I just read the size for the Hawks up, up front, but boy, we got some size for Algona too, Ooh. with Bishop Garrigan and that the Golden Nimmers, Bears. That Nimmers boy is yeah, a big it, kid. They have a uh, uh, the center that's a uh, six, uh, they don't have his height here, but I think he's probably all 6'3", 315-pound <laughs> uh, senior. So it'll be interesting uh, to see tonight how that line of scrimmage folds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who's going to win in the battle of the trenches? Because both teams are going to have to run the ball to be successful tonight, and it all starts up front. So it'll be see yeah. how mobile they are. You know yeah. that's the big thing. You don't have to move them far; just move them enough no. to have those running yeah. backs get through the hole. That's your Hawks starting lineup. Let's go over the stats here for the Hawks. Landon Walshman, he's throwing just over sixty-three percent. 836 yards, 12 touchdowns, and only three interceptions. That'll be crucial tonight. Keep those interceptions yes. down. And he's done a great job all year. Now, your leading rusher is Landon Walshman. He's got averaging eight yards a carry, not just shy of 1,000 yards, 22 touchdowns on the ground. So uh, I'm sure the Golden Bears are going to try to stop Landon as much as possible. Uh, but another guy that's really been running the ball well the last few weeks is Brady Coink. He's yes. averaging six yards a carry. And has found the end zone four times, uh, 323 yards on the year. And uh, Keaton Harpenall, he's that uh, wildcat type of runner. You don't know if you're going to get him in the, the quick game or the running game, but he's definitely a threat yeah. out there as well, too. And he can catch a pass, too, out in the flat. He's actually the leading receiver for this team. He's got 22 catches. Uh, Braxton Knipe has 12 and Colin Holman 16. Both Colin and Knipe are averaging 20 yards a catch. And uh, Colin has three touchdowns, and Braxton Knipe has four. Now, these stats are without one game in the books uh, due to a forfeit, right? Um, yes. And then a half a game in the books because of forfeit at half. So yeah, these stats are a little bit uh, misguided. Was, yep. Um, but, uh, you know, still still playmakers. And like I said last week, uh, what what uh, Braxton Knipe and Colin Holman did when that ball got up in the air is yeah. uh, hopefully that stays like that tonight. Your leading tackler for the Hawks is Brady Worth. He's got 49 and a half tackles. Another uh, tackling machine is Brady Coink with 33, Braxton Knipe with 31, and Colby Penning with 32. Interceptions. The Hawks have 18 interceptions on the year. That's going to be crucial for tonight. And they need to find some turnovers. Leading interceptions is Braxton Knipe with seven, seven interceptions, yep. Jim. That's impressive. That is very impressive. That's like uh, video game type <laughs> stats right there. So those are your stats for the Hawks. 
On the other side for the Golden Bears, uh, Tate Tate Forch, Tate Tate Furch is his name. Sorry if I butchered any names. He's thrown just over 60%, Jim. 1,000 yards, 17 TDs, one interception. So very efficient with very the ball. Very efficient, yes. He's also a dual threat quarterback, like I said. He's got uh, just over four yards to carry, 330 yards on the ground with seven TDs. Their leading rusher is Caden Rothler. He's uh, six yards to carry, 15 touchdowns, 816 yards on the ground. But what I was most impressed looked at these stats, Jim, is their receiving core. They have three guys that are all seniors, I believe, with over 10 catches and um, uh, six touchdowns, four touchdowns, three touchdowns. So a lot of weapons on the yep. outside. That quarterback, he's a sophomore. He's a young, talented quarterback, but he's got a lot of weapons to go to on the edge. And the leading receiver is Drew Lappy. He's he got nine yards a catch. Uh Justin Bauer, he's a senior. He's got 18 averages a catch. And then Sam Plothy, 23 yards a catch. So uh, guys that can make some plays on the outside. Those are your stats before the kickoff here. And we're going to take another break before we get things started. This is St. Mary's Hawks football. We'll be back. Gangler Feed Service in Remsen is your complete farm store. We feed all farm species, and we're a Hubbard, Kent, and Big Game dealer. Whether it's sprayers, grain banking, corn drying, or feeding your animals, we're your complete farm store, and service is our business. Gangler Feed Service in Remsen. Call them at 786-2234 or stop in and see them. Service is our business at Gangler Feed Store, Remsen. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. Haul with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Another one. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. Welcome back to Fuller Digital Solutions, St. Mary's Hawks football. Jim, another key, I think, for tonight's game is the Hawks have been struggling a little bit on special teams with the punt team. I I think they address that. I hope they address it. I know that's something that Tim's had in the back of his yeah. mind. Uh, but if we don't give up any points in special teams, that'll be a huge win yes, for us. Yes, it was. There has been a little lacking a couple times recently, too. That's what uh, is kind of disturbing a couple times maybe a touchdown or yep. too many yards yeah. given up. So I think special teams is going to be a huge factor in tonight's game as well. Uh, you know, C Coach Osterman said that kids practice well all week. Doesn't think this cold weather will be a factor tonight. You know, games like this, it's who can hit who first and make that impact. Yes. And uh, we'll see which team kind of shies away. Or if both teams battle it to the end. Make that statement early. This is what they say, let's separate the men from the boys in this type of weather. <laughs> yeah. uh, so hopefully that's as the Hawks are, are built uh, tough, and uh, we'll see if they can uh, bring the juice and bring the fire. And the thing that they have been doing well is getting off to a better, lot better starts. Yes. 
And so hopefully yeah. we get off to a fast start here tonight. Yeah, strike quick. We are just getting over the starting lineups, getting ready for the national anthem. We are about to kick things off here in week two football playoffs. We'll be back after word from our sponsors. It's hard. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen has provided the best flooring materials for their customers since 1959. For all your project needs, including hardwood, tile, carpet, vinyl, and luxury vinyl, planks, and more, visit their showroom in Remsen and see what flooring types will work for your home or business. Their team can also complete your flooring installation after your free estimate. Visit Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen today and visit them on Facebook. Welcome back to Hawk Football, Fuller Digital Solutions. Jim, I tell you what, this is the first time we've probably heard uh, someone sing the national anthem in a long time. It's usually yeah. the... Other than our fifth grader. Yeah, other than our fifth grader, <laughs> our rock star fifth grader. Yeah, she's very good. Um, so they did a great job here in, at uh, the high school choir there. So we are getting ready things to kick things off. Captains are meeting at the middle. J Ryan Hayek and Jim Wesselman here. Yeah, I had last week off, I, you know, and Zach had to go do it by himself. And then this week, Zach's got off. And so hopefully Zach and I can reuni reunite next week. Next week. Which means we'd still be playing. Yes. So that's the goal. And we got uh, the king himself rolling, running the camera. <laughs> He's going to be sandwiched right in between us. Yeah, so packed we're house give him tonight. Some room. The Hawks will be in blue helmets, white jerseys, and blue pants with the, the Golden Bears all black top to bottom. And it looks like the Hawks will get things off. They'll be the first ones to receive the ball. And we're off. Knipe's going to get it. Bobble the snap. He's at the 10. He's got some distance over there on the far side. He's going to take it across the 25. Not a bad field position for the Hawks. Yeah, good recovery on that. Little muffed kickoff. That's going to be important. Special teams. So the Golden Bears are going to start on defense. Hawks are going to be first and 10. At their own 20, what was that, 28-yard 28. line. Yep. And the Hawks are going to open up with Walshman alone in the backfield. Trips motioning here to the near side. Harping on Knipe. This is a sweep by Walshman. Hunter pick in front of him. Leads the way. Walshman picks up about four yards. Nice little opening play. 
That's a big boy coming to the end there with uh, Hunter Pick leading the way. Yeah, it almost like he didn't have uh, anybody to block Brock, there. No. So. But nice first play there by the Hawks, second and six. We'll see how they get landing in a groove like they did last week. We'll see if they start off with a quick pass or they throw it deep and try to get those receivers to make that big play. Hawks are going to have two receivers up top. Harpenall motioning. Fake to Harpenall. Walshman up the middle. Loses the ball, but Ooh. Uh, that was Colin Holman to jump on it. Ooh, that was almost the first big turnover of the game. That's that cold football gym, two yep. hands on the ball. So it's going to be a third and seven here for the Hawks. Boy, great energy here by the Golden Bears crowd. Yeah, sitting right down in front of us there. They're vocal. This would be a huge conversion if the Hawks can pick it up. That's going to be Walshman and Coink in the backfield. Two receivers up top. Coink's in a motion. Walshman throws some time. Has the Harpen all across the field. It's going to be close it's to a first close. down. And I think he's going to get it by yep. a yard. They moved him on. Nice play by Walshman to Harpenall. So first down right at close to midfield. So 10 minutes here in the first quarter. The Hawks are going to open to a bunch set there up top. Walshman alone in the backfield. This is going to be Walshman keeps it. Falling big 76. Has there to move on the far side. He's going to get close. Ooh. That was a good pushback by Leonard Steichen. Yeah, nice job by Steichen on the pull. Boy, it's a good thing to see when your linemen aren't getting anybody to block till not five, six Sticking, yards down the right. field. It'll be second and three for the Hawks into the Golden Bears territory. So now Hawks go with gun T formation. And it's going to be Walshman right up the middle. Across the first down inside the Golden Bears 30-yard line. Good first drive here so yeah. far. This is where it would be that little, uh, you know, bore you to run, 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 and play yeah. action pass to Spring your, big, one on you. your big six, seven tight end here. Let's see if they can find them. Now they're going to go four wide now. Walshman alone in the backfield, first and ten. Walshman up the middle, has some room. Hang on to that ball. Yeah, he they, almost got it ripped away again. The Golden Bears are trying to get that ball out. Well, I tell you what, the Hawks' offensive line making a push oh, here yeah. early. Be second, second and four. It's been all Walshman here on the opening drive. Walshman, Coink in the backfield. This is going to be Walshman carry again. He's going to this time get met right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. It'll be third and four now for the Hawks. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is where we're going to spring a pass. Yeah, this is uh, almost 99% likely this is two down territory. I want to know if I wonder if RG might try to draw him off sides here. He likes to do that on these third and shorts. Try to get free five yards here. Harpenall on the motion. Harpenall's got the carry. He cuts it up. Still on his feet, but he's gonna be short of the first down. Only picks up a yard. Decision time now for the Hawks. I, I thought they'd try to draw him off sides. They've been doing it all year and So a big down here again for the Golden Bears. See if they can get the Hawks to turn it over on downs. A little confusion for the Hawks. Walshman's alone in the backfield. They try to draw them off sides and they there get it. Was, it. Yep. 
There it is, a free five yards. It'll be a Hawk first down. You were just a down away from it. Yep, I was just a down away. I thought he'd come to that. He's been doing it all year. And, hey, if the defense is going to give you a free five yards, <laughs> take it and run. <laughs> so the Hawks pick up a fourth down conversion on drawing them off sides. Now this is where you need to punch things out here in the red zone. Turn these drives into points. 7-15 left here in opening quarter. Live here in Algona, Iowa. Hawks are on the move. Walshman alone in the backfield. Draws back to pass. He's going to throw it up top to his Ooh, tight end. And had him. He had him open, just kind of threw it a little too early. And behind him. Boy, I think Landon would like to have that one back. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Colin Holman, a huge mismatch at 6-7. Second and 10 now. Coink and Walshman in the backfield. Walshman. Looks like he's going to pass. Now he throws it. And Harpenau's going to get met right after yeah. the catch. So it'll be second, or not be third and 10 here. Well, the Hawks are doing so well in that running game and then kind of got. Got away from here last two yeah. plays. I think Landon tried to hurry on that one a little bit and didn't have the ball. Yeah. That, uh, way to hang on to uh, Keaton Harp and all. He got met right after he oh, yeah. caught that ball. So third and ten. Walshman rolls out. He's going to throw it to Holman, and it's going to be off Holman's hands incomplete. Boy, Holman had a chance, just went right through his hands. It'd be fourth and 10. Boy, it was a good pass by Walshman. I think that's his only second drop of the year. Well, the ball's a little different, though. It's cold, it's yep, hard. It's Yep, your fingers are cold. I don't know, I didn't see if, uh, if Colin had gloves on or not. He's got some uh, yes, he does. gloves yep. on. So big down here again. See if the Golden Bears can make a stop. Land Walshman drops back to pass. Has some time, throws it across the middle. It's going to be oh. high. Incomplete pass. So big stop by the Golden Bears. I know the receiver wanted pass it first, but it's well over his head. Yeah, it, it was uh, It was good, uh, good defense. Good I mean, defense, yep. That wasn't much there. Huge stop by the Golden Bears. We just talked about how important it was to turn this drive into points after a nice drive and get in the red zone, and then you kind of stalled. It's the wrong time to stall there. Ate up a lot of clock, but... No. Yeah, ate up uh, almost half the right. first quarter. But they got away from that running game. They ran, 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 and then went pass, 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 pass. Rats, yep. And... Uh, and only one was completed, correct? Right over here on the oh, sideline. Yep, 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 yep. We had one completion on a third and five. So we'll see what the Golden Bears take advantage of this. This can be a fullback dive up the middle. Brady Coink is all over it. Nice job by Coink. Jim, this Golden Bear offense is a multiple. They like to do I formation, spread it out. They, It's a nice little offense. Yeah. Like I said, it's led by the... The sophomore quarterback, Drew, or no, I'm sorry, Tate Furch. He's only a sophomore. Like I said, 17 TDs, only one interception on the year. Takes great job carrying the ball. This is going to be his first throw. It's going to be a pass out here to the near side, and Cade Tinniger takes him out of bounds. But it's going to be a third and short for the Golden Bears. Like third and two or three. So both quarterbacks get a nice little dump pass to get things rolling. That's nice that the Bishop Garrigan has a play clock here on the field. So yeah. both, both teams can 
Nice facility here. Yes. Well lit. Eye no formation. poles in the way. So here's a toss here to the near side. And it's going to be close to a first down. It was. Don't think it was. Uh, uh, yep. Point on He's the tackle. Him. And they're going to give him enough for a first down. Oh, nice job by Brady Worth forcing it back inside yeah. and just that's a good tackle by Coin, just a yard too late. So those Golden Bears have a lot on their roster, a lot of yeah. in and out they rotation. Now the young quarterback's in drop back to pass, throws it over the middle, incomplete pass. I think he saw big Colin Holman's <laughs> paws up there. Outstretched arms. You know, Holman's coming off back-to-back -back weeks, pick sixes. So second and ten for the Golden Bears. See if the Hawks defense can answer here. Yeah, keep him down on this end of the field. That'd be beautiful. Yeah. Or at, at least till the punt anyway. So play action pass. Oh, it's almost oh. picked off by Braxton oh. Knight. <laughs> oh. I think it surprised him. Yeah, I think hit him right in the hands. Boy, I think Braxton Knight would like to have that one back. But he'll make it third and ten here for the Golden Bears. Yeah, I think you're seeing early, Jim, like you talked about that cold ball. You know, it's a little different yeah, throwing a... Spinning a cold ball compared to yeah. the one that you're used to in August. You know, just like even baseball throwing a cold weather. You yeah. just, just have that real good grip. So another drop back pass. He's going to throw it over the middle. He's got a guy. Oh. And it's going to be incomplete pass. Nice job by Harpin all to break it up. Good call on the incomplete pass. Boy, Harpin all. If he was there one yeah, second later, he, that's a completion yeah. first down. But Harper will come in with the stick, put his shoulder pads right on that football, make an incomplete pass. Nice job by the Hawks defense. <laughs> so the first punt of the night. Snap is good. That's a low end over end kick with the Golden Bear. Get away, get away. And Keaton Harpinall does a smart move and get away. Yeah. But that's going to be a great punt for the Golden Bears. We're going to take a quick break. We'll get a word from our sponsors. This is Hawk Football. Hungry and on the go? Stop by Mrs. B's in Remsen. Locally owned and operated for over 25 years, Mrs. B's has you covered. Coffee, shakes, hundreds of drink options, milk, eggs, and more. Want something hot? Try one of Mrs. B's famous made-from-scratch pizzas. Or order one of Mrs. B's many appetizer and sandwich options. Don't forget about the chicken, fish, and pork chop dinners. Mrs. B's is a proud supporter of both MMCRU and Rems and St. Mary's schools. Stop by Mrs. B's today. And Walshman picks up close to a first down. So the Hawks are going to have his second and one. Jim, I always think I should need to talk to the officials before game, let them know we have some commercials. So <laughs> they need to look up here. And, TV timeouts. Yeah. So Hawks, second and short, gun T formation. This is going to be Walshman right up the middle. Breaks a couple tackles Ooh, still nice on his feet. There. Nice run. Boy, there's that running game we talked about early here, Jim. Line is making some holes. Boy, That's a good tough run then by Landon. And Walshman has improved that he's a tough runner. He's been running well all year. With 22 rushing touchdowns on the year. Looks like a smaller version than Kale Ortman. Yes, he does. So the Hawks are, Walshman's alone in the backfield again. Here's Coink on the motion. Walshman's going to keep it, cuts it up. Picks up another six yards. Nice run by Walshman. 
Well, I tell you what, these runs are a, a nice. He's waiting for his blockers to get yep. out. He's patiently running, and he's yeah, that time, easily picking up six yards. That time, Hunter Pick, he did get a body on somebody that time. Pushed him right out of the way. Just under three minutes here in opening quarter one. Here in Algona, Iowa. First ever meeting between the Hawks and the Golden Bears in football. Gun T formation, Walshman up the middle. Now he's thinking about bouncing it and he gets tripped up right at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by number 11, that's Marceau. I think that time Lanny could have just kept going north and yes, south. I think yep. two yards would have been better than trying to wait around and bounce it out. We just talked about how patiently he has been running, but I think if he would have just stayed with that north and south, it would have been a couple more yards and uh, would have been perfect third and short. That time he paused. Yeah. So third and three for the Hawks here. Walshman drops back to pass. He's going to throw it right at the chains to Harpenall. And it's going to get completed for a Hawk first down. That's good coverage, too, by number great 15. Coverage. Boy, nice ball by Landon Walshman. Yep. So the Hawks are back into the Golden Bears territory. First and 10. Once again, it's Walshman alone in the backfield. This is going to be harping all on the sweep. Big Lenny Steichen's out pulling, cuts it up. And he's going to pick up three yards before getting taken down. Another great block by Lennon Steichen. Yeah. Guards are doing a nice job. So the Hawks are having a nice little second drive here. Yeah. See if they can get it into some points. Chewing up some yardage. Just need to punch one in here. Yeah, time on possession's been oh, all Hawks. Incredible. So Walshman alone in the backfield. This is Harpin on the sweep here up, to the near up. side and cuts it up. Picks up another couple yards. Golden Bears do a nice job containing. They knock out that outside and take that away and kind of bunch things up. Well, they're doing a, and another great team. They're, they're no big plays yet. Right. You know, and that's and that's huge. And in, in high school football, when you can get, limit the big plays and make a team work all the way down the field, and you've seen what happened last time, the, the Hawks turn over on down. Right. So the Hawks have to get one more playoff here before quarter. Unless they're going to. Well, oh, they're going to say it's. End of the quarter. End of the quarter. So we'll take a timeout here with them. This is Hawk football. Rims and St. Mary's zero. Go Bishop Garrigan, Golden Bears zero. We'll be back. The Rams and Farmers Co-op has been serving you for over a century. They are a full-service co-op providing area livestock producers with land o lakes and canned feed. And take advantage of their full-service agronomy center for all your crop production needs to maximize your yield. They also buy and sell grain and offer grain drying. Rims and Farmers Co-op with years of experience and ready for the future. Welcome back to Rims and St. Mary's Hawks football, Fuller Digital Solutions. Well, Jim, that's got to be one of the fastest quarters. A lot of ground game and not too many passes, and even the passes stayed in bounds. And about the only time that paused was when they had to move the chains. Well, I thought the Hawks got a little break there at the end there. It looked like they needed to run one more play before uh, delay yeah. a game, but uh, the stripes said... Uh, Golden Bear oh, coaching staff yeah. wanted the flag. Yeah, so uh, we're pick, pick things up here in the second quarter. You, you didn't even have to work that much on the scoreboard there on Fuller. <laughs> so third and six for the Hawks. Walshman alone in the backfield. Uh, oh, there's going to be our first 
penalty of the play or second or second penalty. Going to be a false start against the Hawks. So that's not helping yourself out there. Yeah. Now it goes third and ten. See how aggressive they are here. If it's a yeah. run, you kind of know they're going to be four down territory. Try to draw them off sides. Another flag. Now Hawks are going to get another false start. That's on Lenny Steichen. So the Hawks helping the Golden Bears out. Yeah. Give them free ten yards. Going the wrong direction. Yeah, how's that truck go? Beep, beep, <laughs> beep. beep. <laughs> They're backing up. Need to put her in drive and go forward here, Jim. Third and 15. Walshman's going to drop back to pass. Here Look they come. He's got some pressure. Oh, he dodged that one. Get rid of it. And Walshman's going to chuck it up, and it's going to be oh. incomplete pass. He threw it in the crowd, too. So big defensive stand by the Golden Bears. Bring it up again now, special teams. Special team. This is where, uh, if you're a Hawk fan, you hold your breath. This has uh, kind of been our week. Uh, if they shoot it over a 6'7 kid, yeah. there's a problem. So fourth and 15, Holman back to punt. This one's good a good snap. snap. And Collins going to have an end over end kick. And it's going to get a nice, nice Hawk roll. Inside the five at the one yard line. Ooh. Nice punt by Colin Holman. That helps. Well, I'd love to take a timeout, Jim, but these offenses want to <laughs> get going. They go, go, go. So both teams averaging a lot of points offensively. A little slow starting. Yeah. And give credit to that defense on both sides. Right. And defense two, is the key. Yeah. You know, and that should travel with you no matter where you go. Exactly right. So the Golden Bears first and 10. High formation. Quarterback sneak right up the middle. That's quite a bit of room before he gets taken down. He's going to pick up three, four yards. I like that play, Jim. Just get it out of the yeah, end zone. Yeah, Too close for comfort. There's so many bad things that can happen with the <laughs> handoff deep in the – right by the goal line. Just I love that call. Quarterback sneak. Get away from the goal line. And any time you can run a quarterback sneak for five yards, you got to think maybe do it again. Yeah, that's gravy. And then you, you do have a 6'3", 315-pound <laughs> center. That always helps too. This is going to be a sweep, and that's going to be it's, swallowed by the Hawks for a loss of yards. Nice job by Brady Word. That was sniffed out really well. Wow. But we just talked about how things can go wrong by your goal line, and then they run a jet sweep, almost a safety. Yeah, back down to the one. It, less than the yard for the goal line. So we'll see if the Hawks can force a big, big down here to – Maybe a turnover. We'll see if the Golden Bears go right back to that center quarterback sneak. And they are going to. And he's going to pick up a yard. So nice job by the Hawks defense. Yes, yes it was. I think the Golden Bears kind of helped them there with that jet sweep there play and a big tackle for loss by Brady Worth. It's going to force the Golden Bears to punt out of their own end zone. Just under 10 minutes here in the second quarter. Uh, Harper now back at the 35. Should have field, good field position. See if the Hawks come after this punt. That's a nice kick. He's going to get a Golden Bear bounce Leave right it. at midfield into Hawks territory. So the Hawks will have the ball first and 10 after they're going to mark it at the 40-yard line. 
So, Jim, offensively, we've ha we have some yards. We have time of possession, yeah. just no points. We chewed up a lot of ground, but uh, haven't hit pay dirt yet. No, and, uh, you know, now might be a time where you do that play action pass, try to get Holman and Knipe involved here. So this is Walshman alone in the backfield. Now both guys motion over, Coink and Harpenau. Walshman's going to run the other way. And he's going to get tackled right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Second and ten. The Hawks must have seen something, Jim, this week in the Gar Bishop Garrigan with that in motion. The, yeah. Haven't seen that really all year with uh, both guys motioning from one side to the other side. And and I almost think that the they didn't move with those guys, and so they were set up pretty good on that Walshman keeper there to the far side. So maybe see if we can do that again, then run it with those motion right. guys. So the Hawks are going to get, they're gonna get a today. timeout. We're going to take a timeout with them. This is Rimson St. Mary's Hawks football. We'll be back. Fuller Digital Solutions is proud to partner with Rimson St. Mary's schools, bringing you live athletic events throughout the year. If you can't make it to the games, please consider donating to the Rimson St. Mary's Activity Club by scanning the QR code above or by sending a check to the school with Activity Club in the memo. Your contributions will help St. Mary's Athletics stay strong now and into the future. Thank you for watching the game. Next. Next level internet leads to a next level experience. So up your game with Westel Systems Fiber Internet. With internet speeds up to one gigabyte per second, you can stream videos and play games without the annoyances of bufferings or delays. Westel goes above and beyond to make their customers' experience as hassle-free as possible. With exceptional 24-7 technical support and a reliable network so you can relax and do the things you enjoy. Explore what Westel has to offer at westelsystems.com. Get more out of your money and see what Westel Systems can do for you. Welcome back to Hawk Football. Fuller Digital Solutions, second and ten. Boy, the Hawks are going to have another false start. Boy, the pre-snap penalties, Jim, is not helping the oh. Hawks. I think that's their third or fourth pre-snap penalty. Third at least, yeah. Very uncommon. Well, so many times, like I just said, we haven't seen that all year, as much movement around, and sometimes it's, you know, let's just line them up and, and go. Go, yeah. So now it's second and 15. Well, here we go again. We're motioning him across the field here. It's in the near side. Walshman drops back to pass. Has some time. He's got Holman. And Holman's going to try to make a one-handed catch. He's going to be off his hands. There's hand, third and 15. Boy, one thing uh, Bishop Garrigan is doing, Jim, well defensively is they're hitting those receivers off the line of scrimmage. <laughs> yep. And it's slowing some their timing off a little bit. It's already hard enough to guard a 6'7 guy, but... If you can slow him up a little bit. Yep, take him helps, out of his pattern. That helps the yep. defense alignment. That helps uh, the secondary. And uh, I tell you what, the Golden Bears are doing a good job getting their hands on our guys, our receivers. Third and 15. Fake to Coink. Walshman rolls out. He's going to chuck it up again. Nope, overthrown. It's going to be an incomplete pass again. So the Hawks. Going to force to punt the ball. Boy, last week he did so well just giving them 50-50 chances. Well, this, you know, the wind hasn't been a huge factor throwing tonight. The wind, it was behind him there, but I don't think enough to overthrow it. It just needs a... No, you wouldn't think so. Just lay it on him. 
Here's another good snap. This is going to be a high kick. It's going to bounce right at the 10-yard line. That's where the Hawks will down it. Another good pump by Colin Holman. So we'll see if the Hawks' defense can, can hold them. Yeah, can hold them again. You know, I figured it was going to be a defensive game, but not this much of a defensive game. Boy, it's like a boxing match, right? There are a lot of jabs going on, a lot of moving parts, and we'll see which team can connect on that first punt. <coughs> The Golden Bears going to be first and 10 at their own 10-yard line. Motioning. Fake the jet sweep. Quarterback up the middle. Has some oh. room. And he's going to get tackled after a first down by Braxton Knight. Boy, we almost saw the first punch there, Jim. It looked yeah. like he was going to be off to the races. Nice yep. job by Braxton Knight on the tackle. Like I said, both these quarterbacks are dual threat quarterbacks, and uh, boy, saw how athletic the young sophomore was yep, there. Exactly. So, first and 10 for the Golden Bears. This is going to be a handoff. Cuts it up here to the near side. Has some room, breaks a tackle. Still on his feet, and he's going to get tackled into Hawk territory after a first down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Holman's slow to get up. Colin Holman's slow to get up. I know he brought him right down on top of him. I don't know if it maybe knocked the wind out of him a little bit. Yeah, hopefully the wind just got knocked out of him, and he's returned shortly. He's walking off on his own power just fine, so... That's two big plays by the Bears. Yeah, they're moving. So here we go, first and 10 for the Golden Bears in hot territory. This is going to be an ISO here. And it's going to be another five yards. Boy, it looked like the Golden Bears have a little bit of momentum, Jim. Yes, they are. A little bit more excitement, a little bit more uh, fire, a little bit more giddy up. Hawks need to match that here. So second and five for the Golden Bears. This is a fullback dive up the middle. Ouch. Ooh, he might be hurt. I think that's, yeah, think the, that's the Nimmers. Yeah, the big center just got hit from behind from the runner, and oh. that's never good. And While he's down, we'll take a timeout to hear a word from our sponsors. This is St. Mary's Hawks football. We'll be back. Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen has provided the best flooring materials for their customers since 1959. For all your project needs, including hardwood, tile, carpet, vinyl, and luxury vinyl, planks, and more, visit their showroom in Remsen and see what flooring types will work for your home or business. Their team can also complete your flooring installation after your free estimate. Visit Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen today and visit them on Facebook. Welcome back to Hawk Football. Good to see uh, big 74 Logan Nimmers walk off with a little bit of gip. Boy, the crowd energy. Get him some fire. Hey, bad. Encouraging run. He's walking better right now. So third and short. This is going to be another ISO here to the near side. He'll be close to the first down. It's going to be fourth down. And inches. This is when you want your big center back in, right? He's going back in. So 
So the big center gets back in there for fourth and inches. Six minutes left here in the quarter. Quarterback sneak, he's gonna be, get enough for the first down. Not yep. by much though, Jim. No, that push from behind. So first down for the Golden Bears. The chains didn't want to move. I think they were frozen <laughs> to the ground. So the Golden Bears moving it right down the field in the running game, Jim. Yeah, they're coming right after the linemen. This is going to be a zone to the far side. Has oh. a hole. Breaks the tackle to the 10. Touchdown, Golden Bears! A 28-yard touchdown by the Golden Bears. That was Caden Rother. So the Golden Bears are the first ones to enter the score. Yep, strike gold first. And so dog. Golden Bears are going to line up to kick the extra point. One of those funny formations. Snap good, kick up, and it's good. Bishop Kerrigan, Golden Bears 7, Remsen, St. Mary's Hawk 0. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. This is Hawk Football. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. Welcome back to Hawk Football. That's Bishop Garrigan. Seven, rooms in St. Mary's. Zero, big answer, Jim. That was a 70-yard a drive. Uh-oh, oh, crossing the knife. Oh. Almost a big return. Was a big return, almost. Almost called it. Well, Jim, I, I he's a big a answer here for the Hawks offense. If we, it, I mean, it would be tremendous to I come mean, back, maybe score a two-point conversion then. Yeah. I mean, the Golden Bears mo has the momentum right now, and we yes. can tell. I mean, the, the, the old line got a little push there for the Golden Bears, and the the Hawks are getting pushed back, so we'll see if they can reestablish that line of scrimmage here. This is going to be a handoff to Coink. Coink's going to be met after a yard. Playing with extra fire on defense now, too. Yeah, they're, you could tell they got an extra pep in their step, yeah. and the Hawks need to match that, and they need to match it quick here. Quickly, yes. One thing the Golden Bears want to try to do is get Hawks into unfamiliar territory, and that's being down. <laughs> Playing from behind. You know, Hawks are not used to coming back from behind, so Golden Bears would be huge to keep the pressure on them, force a three and out, and get the ball right back. As they get ball at half, the Golden Bears. Oh. And the Hawks are going to take out. a timeout, so we'll take a timeout too. Remsen, St. Mary's, Hawks, zero. Bishop Garrigan, Golden Bears, seven. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Hawk football.
Welcome back to the Hawk Football Fuller Digital Solutions. Jim, we talked about momentum, and it's all Bishop Garrigan yes, right here. it is right now. I thought the Hawks did a great job in the first quarter. I mean, they had probably 10 minutes of the 12 minutes of the quarter yeah. with the ball, but zero points. Uh, Bishop Garrigan just drove it 70 yards down the field, all running. Uh, yeah, big run plays. So this is Walshman on the keeper. He's got a lot of room in front of him and a big blocker. Cuts it up across midfield. Still on his feet. Inbounds to the 10. Oh, they called Gets him out. tripped up. They called him out of bounds. Oh, they called him out. Way back on the 25-yard line. So nice run by Walshman. Nice job by Hunter Pitt getting Pitt out there. Leading out there. So first and 10 at the Golden Bear 25-yard line. Well, that's a good partial answer. Now they need well, to finish it. Good call out of a timeout, right? Yeah. Man, they were... Let's see if they can get back in their groove here. You can always tell when the offense is in the groove. The play call gets in, the play call gets out, and then they, you know, execute the play. Walsh making to keep it again on the far side. He's going to get taken out of bounds after a couple yards. 4.23 here in the second quarter. The Golden Bears strike first in the second quarter with a 28-yard touchdown run by Caden Rothler. Hawks trying to answer. I don't like how the Hawks are breaking the huddle with 10 seconds left in the play clock. I'd no, like to see that a little, rush, rush. A little quicker. Walshman's going to motion Harpenall. Fake to Harpenall. And he's got Wal Wal Steichen out in front of him. Makes Steichen blocks him to the 10. Tackled right about the five-yard line. Nice job by the Hawks. Another great play by the Lenny Steichen. Exactly. Leading it out there. Boy, a nice job by Landon just pushing him right into <laughs> that guy. Steering him towards it. Boy, the Hawks have found the edge against this Golden Bear defense. It'll be first and goal at the Golden Bear eight-yard line. When Colin Holman's still out on the sidelines. Walshman again. It's going to be a touchdown, Hawks. Yes. Landon Walshman, eight-yard touchdown run. What an answer by the Hawks. I think Hunter Pitt called the touchdown when he was still <laughs> pulling. He had no one to block out there. He had both arms raised. I wonder if uh, Colin might have got his bell rung or something yeah, on that tackle. Ground's soft. probably not very soft either. No. No, it's definitely not soft. So seven to six, the Hawks are going to line up for a two-point conversion. See if they can take the lead here. This is going to be Walshman and Coink in the backfield. That's a lob pass to Knipe, and it's going to be incomplete pass. So rims in St. Mary's Hawks six, Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears seven. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Hawk football. Family has been providing trusted funerals since 1943 when Joseph and Adele Fish bought Remsen's only funeral home. Beginning in 1976, Joe's son Joel and his wife Jean continued the tradition of being a family owned and operated business. In 2009, David and Elizabeth Fish carried the family tradition into the future and now offer monuments. The Fish family is honored to assist you in your time of need, offering care and compassion. Fish Funeral Home and Monuments in Remsen, our family serving your family since 1976. 1943. Welcome back to Hawk football. A big answer by the Hawks there, Jim. It, that was key. It looked like momentum was all Bishop Garrigan and the Hawks did a great job answering back. Just heard an update on the other side of the pool with Cam and West Bend and West Bend's up 22 to 14. And is that down at Anita? I believe it's down yes, at Cam. Yes, I think it is. So Hunter picked to kick things off. A nice booming kick. And it's going to go and the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, Jim, I, you know, Collins kind of all by himself. We'll see. Uh, he's trying to get closer to the coaching staff. He is buckling up his chin strap. 
And he yeah. is going to. He was thinking about it. Thinking about getting back on there. So that's good to see. Yeah, I was going to say, Jim, the two-point conversions, I, I don't know what our percentage is on those, but I don't feel like they're above 50. Fifth, and, right, and right. Hopefully that don't come back and, and bite us. It would have been nice to get that two-point conversion there. Oh, well, this is Bishop Garrigan. He's going to try to throw the pass. Take his own number and get nine yards. Nice play by the young sophomore. Like that design call. It's a fake zone with an option, a bubble pass, but he decided to keep it himself yeah. and pick up nine yards. And the safety had to help hold his position. Right, yeah, he can't come up or no. he'll be able to pass the ball. So, uh, great play. So second and short. This is a fullback up the middle. And the Hawks are all over it. Nice job by the Hawks defense. That was coined to start things off. To make it third and short. Well, the Golden Bears have been pretty successful third and short. Just... Run it right behind their yep. big center. Get that push forward. So third and inches. That's going to be another fullback dive, and the Hawks are all over it. I think he lost a yard, Jim. Nice play by Brady Coink. Boy, they gave him a generous mark, oh, I think. They're, they're going to give it to him first down. Well, I guess it was first and 10 at the 15, so if you're at the 25, it's the first down. I didn't think he made it Ooh, to I the thought, 25. I thought, I thought Brady got him behind the line yeah. of scrimmage. So first and 10 for the Golden Bears. That's a bubble spot. Nice tackle. Ooh, that was met. Nice. That Braxton Knipe on the tackle on the far side. There's that. Zone bubble screen type of play again, and Hawks are all over it this time. 2.40 here in the second quarter. Boy, if you're the Golden Bears, a late touchdown here, and you get the ball back to start the third quarter, would be huge. Mm -hmm. And if you're the Hawks, you got to do everything you can to keep them out of the end zone. And the Golden Bears are going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. This is Hawk football. We'll be back. American Mink, we are committed to making a meaningful and positive impact in the schools and businesses within our community. Like a Hail Mary, throw to win the game. We are here to help you every step of the way to take care of your financial goals. We are dedicated to helping you score big while we strive to make a big impact in our community. American Mink is a proud supporter of the Remsen St. Mary's football and volleyball teams, and we are wishing them a happy and successful season. Bump up the spirit and cheer on the Hawks to victory. American Mink, achieving success together. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Hawk Football Fuller Digital Solutions. Seven to six here. The second round of playoff football. First ever meeting between the Golden Bears and the Hawks here on the football field. Boy, got a nice facility here in Algona, Jim. Yeah. Softball field to the to the south here. Baseball field behind us to the north. Football field sandwiched right in between them. And nice of us to get the uh, inside the booth tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Our friends at the KCHE radio, they're outside calling the game. Second and nine for the Golden Bears. This is going to be a run here to up the middle, and he's going to pick up four yards. He's make it third and five. We've seen some hard, tough running here tonight. Yeah. So two minutes here in the second quarter. Big down for both teams here for the defense and offense. Garrigan taking their time. A fake 
Quarterback rolling. Oh, He's got there. a guy wide open. Oh. And it's oh. going to be incomplete pass. <laughs> oh, he, he had him wide open. It would have been for a big play, but fortunately for the Hawks, it was just overthrown. Just quarter, off his fingertips. That quarterback's going to want that one back. Oh, that was well drew up. Run, run, <laughs> run, then hit the play action pass. It's wide open, and lucky for the Hawks, just a yard too far. So the Golden Bears in punt formation. It's a nice kick. Harpenhall is going to field it at the 15. And that's where he's going to get taken down. Nice, nice job by the Golden Bears. Nice open field tackle. So the Hawks are going to have the ball first and 10 at their own 16-yard line with 128 left here in the half. Only have one timeout, Jim. We'll see how aggressive they get. But Colin Holman did try to go back out there on offense. And they pulled him back. Just don't want to make a mistake down this end. Fumble, interception, whatever it might be. Walshman drops back to pass. Has some time. Now he's going to take it down. He's going to throw it, and it's going to be caught. For a first down. Like our that old was defense, Dane in on the reception. Like our old defensive coach always said, Jerome Holmes. Yeah. If you pass the ball, there's three things that could happen, and two of them are bad. Two of them are bad. And in, <laughs> interception is one of them. This is Walshmitt. Got it. Officials blew it dead, and it's going to be a false start. I didn't see the flag. I don't know where it came from, but another pre-snap penalty. <sighs> That's got to be the fourth or fifth one. Walshman drops back to pass. Throws it over the middle. It's going to be caught by Brady Worth at the 35. Hawks rushing to the line of scrimmage. Second. It'll be second and five. 30 seconds left here. Hawks only have one timeout. Walshman's going to keep it. Has Hunter pick in front of him. He gets the first down, then gets taken out of bounds across midfield. 19 ticks left. Oh, they're going to mark it at the... Mark it at the... 30. 39 of the Hawks. But it'll be a first down. 19 seconds. Hawks have one timeout. What you don't want to do is take a timeout after a play was out of bounds. Hurry up and let's get to the line of scrimmage here. Walshman throws it back to Harpenall. Harpenall gets 10 yards and out of bounds. Nice play call there. So inside the... Th Golden Bears 30 yard line. It'd be nice if we could steal some points here. Ooh, that would be huge going into the break. Or without our big 6 7 tight end and doesn't have his helmet on anymore, so that's not good news for Hawks fans. No. So, first and 10, Walshman alone. Drops back to pass. Now he's going to run it. He's going to try to get out of bounds. He does. He Toss one up. So he's got six seconds left. Probably take a timeout here now and just call your last play. Probably have seven guys back in the end zone. Oh. 
So Hawks are wisely taking their time here. I mean, if you're going to call timeout anyway, let's take an extra 20 seconds of the play clock and really think about what you're going to do. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be back for the last play here in the second quarter. We'll be back. Welcome to your new home from Ida Grove Homes. Your new home is strong. It's built with state-of-the-art indoor construction techniques and expertise in a controlled environment. Your new home is tough with exceptional energy efficiency and lower maintenance costs. Your new home is an outstanding value. We deliver homes faster at a lower cost with guaranteed pricing. Your new home is unique with endless floor plan and design options. Check them out at our website. So stop by Ida Grove Homes and let us introduce you to your new home. I know I got to hit. Oh. Welcome back to Hawk Football. Oh, seven to six. Six seconds left here in the first half. The Hawks have it at the Golden Bears 27 yard line. Atlanta can definitely get it to the end zone. Just we'll see how much time he gets to, to throw it up. Like I said the Hawks are without their big six seven. Tied in, Colin Holman, we are assuming it's because he's in concussion protocol. Right. Landon drops back to pass. He's going to throw it quick. It's going to be incomplete pass. So three seconds left. Boy, if you're the Golden Bears, I think you have about four or five in the end zone and uh, rush a couple of them. And so Walshman's going to drop back to pass. Steps up, throws it to BK's direction, and it's going to be incomplete pass. That's going to be the half. It's Bishop Garrigan, Golden Bears 7, Rims and St. Mary's Hawks 6. We'll be back. Gangler Feed Service in Remsen is your complete farm store. We feed all farm species, and we're a Hubbard, Kent, and Big Game dealer. Whether it's sprayers, grain banking, corn drying, or feeding your animals, we're your complete farm store, and service is our business. Gangler Feed Service in Remsen. Call them at 786-2234 or stop in and see them. Service is our business at Gangler Feed Store, Remsen. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen has provided the best flooring materials for their customers since 1959. For all your project needs, including hardwood, tile, carpet, vinyl, and luxury vinyl, planks, and more, visit their showroom in Remsen and see what flooring types will work for your home or business. Their team can also complete your flooring installation after your free estimate. Visit Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen today and visit them on Facebook. Hungry and on the go? Stop by Mrs. B's in Remsen. 
Locally owned and operated for over 25 years, Mrs. B's has you covered. Coffee, shakes, hundreds of drink options, milk, eggs, and more. Want something hot? Try one of Mrs. B's famous made-from-scratch pizzas or order one of Mrs. B's many appetizer and sandwich options. Don't forget about the chicken, fish, and pork chop dinners. Mrs. B's is a proud supporter of both MMCRU and Rooms in St. Mary's schools. Stop by Mrs. B's today. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. The Ramson Farmers Co-op has been serving you for over a century. They are a full-service co-op providing area livestock producers with land o lakes and canned feed. And take advantage of their full-service agronomy center for all your crop production needs to maximize your yield. They also buy and sell grain and offer grain drying. Ramson Farmers Co-op with years of experience and ready for the future. Staying healthy means enjoying life's best moments. And the best way to stay healthy is to make your routine appointments. Whether you have new symptoms or it's time for your annual exam, the providers at Floyd Valley Healthcare know and listen to you, so you'll get the care that you need. We help you stay healthy by providing preventative care, finding health concerns early, managing chronic conditions, and connecting you with specialty care close to home. Don't miss a single special moment. Make your appointment today. I'm Dr. Brooke Kahns. I'm a new general surgeon at Floyd Valley Healthcare, and I look forward to working with the community. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. Fuller Digital Solutions is proud to partner with Rams and St. Mary's Schools, bringing you live athletic events throughout the year. If you can't make it to the games, please consider donating to the Rams and St. Mary's Activity Club by scanning the QR code above or by sending a check to the school with Activity Club in the memo. Your contributions will help St. Mary's Athletics stay strong now and into the future. Thank you for watching the game. Next Level Internet leads to a next level experience. So up your game with Westel Systems Fiber Internet. With internet speeds up to one gigabyte per second, you can stream videos and play games without the annoyances of bufferings or delays. Westel goes above and beyond to make their customers' experience as hassle-free as possible. With exceptional 24-7 technical support and a reliable network so you can relax and do the things you enjoy. Explore what Westel has to offer at westelsystems.com. Get more out of your money and see what Westel Systems can do for you. The Ramson Farmers Co-op has been serving you for over a century. They are a full-service co-op providing area livestock producers with land o lakes and canned feed. And take advantage of their full-service agronomy center for all your crop production needs to maximize your yield. They also buy and sell grain and offer grain drying. Ramson Farmers Co-op with years of experience and ready for the future.
Gangler Feed Service in Remsen is your complete farm store. We feed all farm species, and we're a Hubbard, Kent, and Big Game dealer. Whether it's sprayers, grain banking, corn drying, or feeding your animals, we're your complete farm store, and service is our business. Gangler Feed Service in Remsen. Call them at 786-2234 or stop in and see them. Service is our business at Gangler Feed Store, Remsen. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen has provided the best flooring materials for their customers since 1959. For all your project needs, including hardwood, tile, carpet, vinyl, and luxury vinyl, planks, and more, visit their showroom in Remsen and see what flooring types will work for your home or business. Their team can also complete your flooring installation after your free estimate. Visit Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen today and visit them on Facebook. Hungry and on the go? Stop by Mrs. B's in Remsen. Locally owned and operated for over 25 years, Mrs. B's has you covered. Coffee, shakes, hundreds of drink options, milk, eggs, and more. Want something hot? Try one of Mrs. B's famous made-from-scratch pizzas or order one of Mrs. B's many appetizer and sandwich options. Don't forget about the chicken, fish, and pork chop dinners. Mrs. B's is a proud supporter of both MMCRU and Rooms in St. Mary's schools. Stop by Mrs. B's today. The Ramson Farmers Co-op has been serving you for over a century. They are a full-service co-op providing area livestock producers with land o' lakes and canned feed. And take advantage of their full-service agronomy center for all your crop production needs to maximize your yield. They also buy and sell grain and offer grain drying. Ramson Farmers Co-op with years of experience and ready for the future. Fuller Digital Solutions is proud to partner with Rams and St. Mary's Schools, bringing you live athletic events throughout the year. If you can't make it to the games, please consider donating to the Rams and St. Mary's Activity Club by scanning the QR code above or by sending a check to the school with Activity Club in the memo. Your contributions will help St. Mary's Athletics stay strong now and into the future. Thank you for watching the game. Take one. Next level internet leads to a next level experience. So up your game with Westel Systems Fiber Internet. With internet speeds up to one gigabyte per second, you can stream videos and play games without the annoyances of bufferings or delays. 
Questel goes above and beyond to make their customers' experience as hassle-free as possible. With exceptional 24-7 technical support and a reliable network so you can relax and do the things you enjoy. Explore what Westel has to offer at westelsystems.com. Get more out of your money and see what Westel Systems can do for you. When you go home, you'll feel good about what you did, and you know, you're know you doing it for the kids. If they don't have us, they don't have these games. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help. And helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen has provided the best flooring materials for their customers since 1959. For all your project needs, including hardwood, tile, carpet, vinyl, and luxury vinyl, planks, and more, visit their showroom in Remsen and see what flooring types will work for your home or business. Their team can also complete your flooring installation after your free estimate. Visit Moeller Carpet and Floor Covering in Remsen today and visit them on Facebook. Hungry and on the go? Stop by Mrs. B's in Remsen. Locally owned and operated for over 25 years, Mrs. B's has you covered. Coffee, shakes, hundreds of drink options, milk, eggs, and more. Want something hot? Try one of Mrs. B's famous made from scratch pizzas or order one of Mrs. B's many appetizer and sandwich options. Don't forget about the chicken, fish, and pork chop dinners. Mrs. B's is a proud supporter of both MMCRU and Rooms in St. Mary's schools. Stop by Mrs. B's today. The Ramson Farmers Co-op has been serving you for over a century. They are a full-service co-op providing area livestock producers with land of lakes and canned feed. And take advantage of their full-service agronomy center for all your crop production needs to maximize your yield. They also buy and sell grain and offer grain drying. Ramson Farmers Co-op with years of experience and ready for the future. Welcome back to Fuller Digital Solutions, Rims and St. Mary's Hawks football. Getting ready to almost kick things off here in the second half. I'd ask Jim what the second half adjustments is, but he's down socializing. Guy's royalty around here, so I still haven't seen him. He went to go get popcorn or something, but uh, hopefully he makes it by kickoff. But, uh, you know, great first half for my both teams. Zero turnovers, uh, one touchdown apiece, but the uh, difference in the game is the Golden Bears extra point and the Hawks failure for a two-point conversion. That's what gets us the 7-6 to score. Both scores come in the second quarter. Uh, big news for the Hawks. The uh, Hawks will probably be without Colin Holman in the second half. So um, offensively, that's a huge weapon loss there, as well as defensively. He's had the last two games a couple pick sixes. So uh, the Hawks need to find that running game and stick with it. They're uh, just killing themselves in the pre-snap penalties. I think we have about five or six pre-snap penalties with that new motion they put in. Uh, I'm assuming this week, we haven't seen it all year, where they motion Harpenall and, and Coink across the field. They just uh, killing themselves with those pre-snap penalties. So uh, need to knock that off here in the second half and uh, get off to a much faster start. We're only one half away. You win or go home. Um, so it's... Uh, See if the Hawks can answer here. They are on familiar territory. They are behind in the, here to start the things off. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back for the third quarter. It's Hawk football.
when you go home, you'll feel good about what you did. And you know, you're doing it for the kids. If they don't have us, they don't have these games. Welcome back to Hawk Football, third quarter to get kick things off here. I'm Ryan Hayek and Jim Wessel is somewhere at the concession stands. I said Jim's royalty around here grew up nearby. So third quarter, Hawks are going to kick things off here to the Golden Bears. Excuse me. Oh, the Hawks are going to try an onside kick, and it's going to be out of bounds. Golden Bears are going to get great field position. Boy, interesting play call to start things off. The Hawks defense have done a great job tonight, so you're going to get the Golden Bears great field position to start the third quarter out. So we'll see if the Golden Bears can take advantage of a miss onside kick. So first and 10 for the Golden Bears at the Hawk 35 yard line. Wow, what great field position to start the third quarter. High formation. This is gonna be a toss here to the near side. Cuts it up. Makes one guy miss still on his feet. Across the 25 yard line, a Golden Bear first down. Nice run. Boy, the Hawks, we'll see if that comes back and haunts them a failure for onside kick to start the half off. Boy, Golden Bears are automatically in probably two down territory. Another I formation. This time the Hawks are a lot better. Keep it to a two yard gain. Nice job by Colby Penning and Ty Tritz. So second and nine for the Golden Bears. Well, I tell you what though, Coach Osterman probably has a lot of confidence in his defense to do that onside kick. We'll see if they can help him out here and get a stop. Nice tackle by Braxton Knipe. Boy, if he doesn't make that tackle, he is off to the race, and we got a late flag. We'll see who they call that against. There was no gain on the play, but a late flag. And it's going to be a personal foul against the Golden Bears. So, huge penalty. Pushes the Golden Bears way back at the midfield. And it's still going to be third down. So it was after the play. So now let's see if the Hawks can lock down here and get a stop. So third and 25. Quarterback drops back, has all time to throw, and it's going to be incomplete pass. Nice job by the Hawks secondary. So the Golden Bears are going to be forced to punt the ball after getting great field position, but a bad penalty with a personal foul backs them way back and going to force them to punt. So now the onside kick doesn't look too bad. Hey, here comes Jim Wesselman back. <laughs> Welcome back, Jim. How many autographs do you sign at too, half? Too close to hometown. <laughs> nice spiraling kick, and it's going to be a touchback into the end zone. So the Hawks are going to get good, their own ball at their own 15. Jim, 
missed it. Uh, onside kick to start things off. Golden Bears, I mean, it was uh, kicked out of bounds. So the Golden Bears got into the 30, the, our 35, and uh, we're moving the ball, but had an unsportsmanlike conduct that packed them way back. So uh, a big penalty by the Golden Bears. So the Hawks now have the ball first and 10 at their own 15. Unsportsmanlike conduct for chirping or? Uh, late, late block. Late block, okay. Blocking after the whistle. So this is going to be Walshman up the middle. Oh. He slips, and he's going to get right at the line of scrimmage. Jim, I was thinking a lot of these uh, uh, things to clean up of these pre-snap penalties. Uh, I think we had about six of them. Yeah. Uh, that's 30 yards we're giving Bishop <laughs> Garrigan. So I think we can clean that up a little bit here in the second half. I think we can get a, the ball moving north and south. And a couple of them were on one series that backed him up. Yeah, excuse me. Getting a little colder. Temperature's dropping. Second and 10. Walshman's alone. He's going to motion Coink. Fake to Coink. Now he's going to run it. Stiking on the pole. And Walshman's going to take it to the 20. And he's going to make it third and five. So the Hawks look like they're going to be without Colin Holman here in the second half, too. So that's a huge weapon. They lose offensively yeah, and defensively. And yes. And it'll be uh, interesting to see who can step up and fill that void. You know, we got Brady Worth who can make some plays. That'd uh, be nice to get Keaton Harpen all more involved. Knipe. Knipe. So hopefully those guys can pick it up for big Colin Holman. Third and five. This is a pass here to Coink. Coink's going to cut it up. And he's going to pick enough pick, up yes. for the first down. Nice play. Well, the Golden Bears late to adjust there on that motion. Heard their coaches up here in the box yelling. Yeah. So first and 10. Hawks got the ball at their own 26-yard line. Hawks have a bunch set here to the near side. Walshman's alone in the backfield. This one's going to be a keeper. He's got Steichen in front of him. Walshman's still running. He's going to pick up about three yards. Boy, Jim, a nice play off that would be, you know, they've shown that play so many times that they have a reverse off that. Yeah. You know, now would be that time would, to run it here in the second half. Everybody's pushed to that one side. Is, that defense is just flowing. To wherever Walshman's going, so if they have a reverse behind Walshman, that could be a huge hitter. Also again, Walshman in the backfield. This time he's going to motion Harpenau. He's going to option with Harpenau. Harpenau's going to spin move, and he's going to lose a yard. So it's going to be third and seven for the Hawks. That was the first time we've seen option all yeah. night. A nice job by the Golden Bears containing it. A big down here. First big down without the big 55, yeah. Colin Holman. Big target out of there. They've had some success with uh, the crossing routes. We'll see if they can go back to the crossers about five, six yards and let the receivers go to work. Walshman alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Has some time. Looking over the middle. There, wide right open. He's got enough. He's across midfield. Into Golden Bear territory at the 33-yard line. Big conversion by the Hawks. There's that crossing route I just mentioned. Yes. Perfect. So big play for the Hawks into Golden Bear territory. Boy, it'd be huge if the Hawks can turn it. This drive into points. This is Here's Walshman the on the keeper. Yard again. Uh, Breaks a got tackle. Still on his feet and run out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Nice pickup. I think sometimes it looks like Hunter outruns the the tacklers. Yeah, it, Hawks are doing such a great job getting to the edge. Yes, he does. It, I'd love to see a reverse off that. I think it'd be a huge hitter. Uh, you know, with, with all that flow, it seems wherever Walshman's going, that 
Yeah. Black jerseys are going with oh, them. Oh, they too. are pursuing that way. Seven minutes here in the third quarter left. Walshman, Coink in the backfield. Walshman's going to drop back to pass. This time he has some pressure. Now he's going to throw it out to Coink. Coink's going to catch it. Pick up a couple before getting taken out. Not bad check down no, there. No, no. So third and four for the Hawks. And the Golden Bear 26-yard line. Right at the seven-minute marker. You win, you move on, you lose. Season's over. You look to next year. Harping on the motion. This time he's going to get it on the jet sweep. He's going to cut it up. Has enough That's for a first, first down. down inside the Golden Bear 20-yard line. A nice drive here by the Hawks. Started at their own 15-yard line. Looks like the first quarter again. Yeah. Boy, I go back to that onside kick. What an opportunity for the Golden yeah. Bears to have automatically in two-down territory, and then a, a penalty cost them tremendously. Big time. We weren't able to take advantage of a failure onside kick, and we'll see if the Hawks can. Right up the middle is Walshmitt. He's going to pick up a couple yards. So second and seven for the Hawks. The wind has died down here in the second yeah, half, Jim. Yeah, that flag is hanging pretty limp. Bunch set up top, Walshman alone in the backfield. Uh -oh, uh, there's our pre-snap penalty, Jim. I'm not seeing any movement. I just. And they're going to call it, though. False start on the Hawks. So a huge momentum kill and just something that Somebody, you can control yourself. I mean, yeah. I mean, it must be a very minor flinch. Because like you said, I don't see anything moving either. Well, the, the one that's calling it is the official on Garrigan sideline. So, and, you know, you say it enough times, the flag just automatically comes out. <laughs> So see if the Hawks can overcome this penalty. Walshman keeps it, breaks the tackle, Ooh. almost got loose there. So it's be third and ten. So this is where you really have to draw up a couple plays here. You're, Specialties. You know, I, you know, you're probably not going to kick a field goal here. Such a low percentage in eight man when you don't yeah. have many field goal attempts. So you just want to get at least five yards here, six yards, make it fourth and very manageable. Look for Braxton Knipe here. This is a fake to Coink. He's got Harpin all over the sideline. He throws it to oh, Harpin nice. inside the ten, inside the five. Tackled at the three yard line. Another crossing route. Yep. Keaton Harpin all. Nice job by Landon Walshman. Big conversion by the Hawks. And that defender was right there, so that pass had to be spot on. Boy, he was able to get Harpenall keep running after, after catching the ball. Yards after catch inside the five-yard line. Hawks are on the door. This is Walshman up the middle, patiently waiting. The Eagles or the Golden Bears are all over it. It'll be second and goal. Well, it looks like the Hawks players slow to get up. That Ty. That's Ty Tritz, the yeah. center. Looks like maybe it just might be a cramp. But yeah. He's going to have to come out. So definitely go to the sideline, get some snaps from the backup center. I think that's Gravenish. So let's take a timeout with them. This is Rims and St. Mary's Hawk football. We'll be back.
when you go home, you'll feel good about what you did. And you know, you're doing it for the kids. If they don't have us, they don't have these games. Welcome back to Hawk Football Fuller Digital Solutions. Second and goal for the Hawks. Drive started at their own 15 yard line. Ty Tritz just came out with hopefully a cramp. So Walshman fakes it, and it's going to be an overthrown pass. Knipe was wide open in the end zone. Boy, that was, Knipe was wide open. Good play call. Fake the run up the middle. I think he rushed it just a little, a little bit, bit too, too much. Soon. Yep. I don't think he knew how wide open Knipe was where – he could have put some more air on it and let Knipe just go run and get it. So third and goal here for the Hawks. Boy, let's see if the, this be a huge defensive stand if the Golden Bears can keep the Hawks out wow. of the end zone. 4-14 left here in the third quarter. This is Walshman on the keeper. Cuts it up. It's going to be close to the goal line. Reaches it for the pylon. Touchdown, Hawks! Touchdown, <laughs> What a run by Landon Walshmitt. A four yard touchdown run by Walshmitt, his second of the night. Boy, they got met him right at the one yard line yeah. in the effort just to reach that ball across the pylon. It's just like a delayed call. Everybody was holding their breath, waiting for it. Boy, and Coach Arnold and I said it all year. He gets tougher as games yeah. get on. So it's a huge two point conversion here. Hawks are up 12 to six, seven. Bunch set here to the near side. Here's that motion across the field. Walshman drops back to pass. Now he looks to Harpen all, and it's going to be incomplete pass. Hawks fail on the two point conversion. Rems in St. Mary's Hawks 12. Bishop Garrigan, Golden Bears 7. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors, Hawk Football. Next Level Internet leads to a next level experience. So up your game with Westel Systems Fiber Internet. With internet speeds up to one gigabyte per second, you can stream videos and play games without the annoyances of bufferings or delays. Westel goes above and beyond to make their customers' experience as hassle-free as possible. With exceptional 24-7 technical support and a reliable network so you can relax and do the things you enjoy. Explore what Westel has to offer at westelsystems.com. Get more out of your money and see what Westel Systems can do for you. Welcome back to Hawk Football Fuller Digital Solutions. A big drive by the Hawks, Jim. Yes, and eating up some clock. Eating up some clock. Just four minutes left in the third quarter. Boy, the Hawks, huge third down conversion on that drive with Keaton <laughs> Harpin all across the with middle that, on the yes. crossing routes. And then to punch it there in third and goal with Landon Walshman. Tough four yard run. So Hunter picked to kick things off. This time it's a squibber up the middle. And the Golden Bears bobble it a little bit still on the ground. We'll see what they say. And it's gonna be Golden Bears football. Boy, that was almost like <laughs> a that huge been, swing yes. thing. So let's see if this Hawks can come out and get another defensive stop. This is so important after you score to try to get a three and out. Get that ball back in your offense hands as soon as possible. Make those stops at the 19 now. Boy, if the ball would have bounced the Hawks way on that, that could have opened the door here. So the Golden Bears. Try to run it up the middle, and it's going to be right, met right at the line of scrimmage. Nice job by Ty Tritz. Good to see him back out there. Yes. Second and eight for the Golden Bears. Jim, we got trivia in the fourth quarter. Hope you're ready. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not too hard, I don't think. If it's on Jeopardy, I'll get it. <laughs> the trivia question coming up in the fourth quarter. Second and eight for the Golden Bears. High formation. Play action pass. Rolling here to the near side. Has some get, time. Get it, and now it's Big Lennon Steichen on the sack. 
Stake it and trips. 76 on the sack. He's throwing the bones as well. Making was, it third and nine. That was a stake it and trip sandwich there. <laughs> <laughs> they both met him. There and now looks like the energy's going on the Hawks sideline <laughs> now. Need a big stop here now. Boy, what a football game here in the second round of playoffs. Quarterback drops back to pass. He's going to chuck it deep. Oh, no. And it's going to be oh. incomplete pass. Nice coverage by Harpenau. Boy, the Bishop Garrigan receiver looked like he had a chance to come down with it. That was number five, Drew Loppy. Boy, and the Hawks are going to get that three and out. Boy, what a defensive series for the Hawks. Hopefully good field position here. Keaton back at the 25. Garrigan, good snap, good punt, left-footed kicker. Harper catches at the 22. He's across the 25 to the 30 is where he'll get stopped. Nice Good. return. Good open field tackle again. So 227 left here in the third quarter. Boy, what a great football game here, yes, Jim. Yes. Momentum swings both ways. Just a good old fashioned tough football game. If you win, you advance. If you lose, it's time for basketball season. First and 10, Hawks got the ball at their own 30. Coink to motion, fake to Coink, a sweep to the outside. Landon picks up another four yards, maybe five. Do you think uh, offense coordinator Ryan Gallus has his phone on him if I can call him to run a reverse off that? <laughs> Probably not receiving any phone calls right now. <laughs> Probably has his phone shut off. <laughs> Second and seven. Here's Walshman again on the keeper. Has some room to the near side, still on his feet. I got a flag down. Well, got some laundry on the field. Looks like it might come back here. So block in the back by the Hawks. So it'll be second and 14 now for the Hawks. So we'll see if the Golden Bears can take advantage of the penalty and try to get the Hawks to punt. So the Hawks have bunch set here to the near side. Hey, here's that reverse. And the Golden Bears are all over it, Jim. Nice play. That was number four, Trainer, on the tackle for loss. Well, I called the reverse, got the reverse, and it went minus yeah. four yards. The only thing I didn't like about the they ran it to the short Sh side. Short side, right. You know, it didn't give the defense much time to flow. If they ran it to the other side, that gives them more defense. Yeah, to, more room. So third and a mile for the Hawks. 115 here. Walshman draws back to pass, has some time. Chucks it to Harpenau, Harpenau's got some room. Oh, oh, oh. Be close to the first down. Real You're gonna close. mark him out of bounds. He's gonna mark him out of bounds a couple yards short. So it'll be fourth down and fourth and two. Decision time for Coach Osterman. 
Jim, do you go for it here? Try oh, to draw him off sides. You're right at midfield. Try to draw him off sides here. Try to get a free five yards. A big down here early. Oh. And it's the Hawks with another false start. Got to kick it now, don't you? Yep. Boy, another pre-snap yeah. penalty that's going to kill the Hawks. And now we all, oh, every Hawk fan does hold their breath in punt formation. Timeout by Garrigan. Garrigan. Garrigan takes a timeout. Well, head coach wasn't very happy with that. Uh. So we'll take a timeout with them. This is Hawk football. We'll be back. When you go home, you'll feel good about what you did, and you know you're doing it for the kids. If they don't have us, they don't have these games. Welcome back to Fuller Digital Solutions, St. Mary's Hawks football. What a game we have here in Algona, Iowa! First ever meeting on the football field between the Golden Bears and the Hawks. Well, the Hawks try to maybe go for it on fourth down. Another pre-snap yeah. penalty. Too many to even keep track up here, Jim. Yeah. And now it's Hunter Pick to punt things. It's a little oh, bit of high man. snap. And that now was it's close. a booming kick. Takes the Hawks bounce inside the 20. And it's going to bounce at the 17-yard line. So, whoo. Oh. I think my heart skipped a beat on that one. <laughs> I didn't think Hunter had very good ups, but he made enough for that one. Whew. So let's see if the Hawks can get another defensive stand here. 51 seconds here in the third quarter. Boy, the Golden Bears, they motion about two in, two out every uh, Every play. time, yeah. What an advantage to have so much depth. Oh. An eight-man football. It was kind of like our team last year. We had a lot of depth. Yes. High formation. This is a run here to the near oh. side. He's got the edge. And he's going to get ran out of bounds at the 20-yard line. A big pickup, enough for a Golden Bear first down. That was a big hole. Well, luckily, Kay Tenniger stayed home <laughs> and able to force him out of bounds. Boy, if Cade wasn't there, that would have been a huge Ooh. score. So first and 10. Oh, this we is weren't a quarterback, even, oh. and he's going to get tackled. Boy, behind the we were lucky on that one. Our Boy, defense the, wasn't even set. Yeah, the Golden Bears ran to the line of scrimmage, pulled a playbook out of the old West Bend Mallard. <laughs> Hurry up and snap in the Hawks. Luckily, they they were able to get the tackle right at the line of scrimmage to make it second and ten. This could be the last play of the third quarter. We'll see what they do here. Garrigan looks to run one more play here. This is going to be a run here. Has some running room, and it's going to be tackled by Braxton Knipe. It's going to be third and short to start the fourth quarter. Rims and St. Mary's Hawks 12, Bishop Garrigan, Golden Bears 7. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. American Bank, we are committed to making a meaningful and positive impact in the schools and businesses within our community. Like a Hail Mary, throw to win the game. We are here to help you every step of the way to take care of your financial goals. We are dedicated to helping you score big while we strive to make a big impact in our community. American Mink is a proud supporter of the Rems and St. Mary's football and volleyball teams, and we are wishing them a happy and successful season. Bump up the spirit and cheer on the Hawks to victory. American Mink, achieving success together. Member FDIC.
Gangler Feed Service in Remsen is your complete farm store. We feed all farm species, and we're a Hubbard, Kent, and Big Game dealer. Whether it's sprayers, grain banking, corn drying, or feeding your animals, we're your complete farm store, and service is our business. Gangler Feed Service in Remsen. Call them at 786-2234 or stop in and see them. Service is our business at Gangler Feed Store, Remsen. Welcome back to Fuller Digital Solutions, St. Mary's Hawks football. One quarter way, Jim. 12 minutes to go. And it's going to be uh, the Golden Bears third and short to start things off. What a ball game. So the Golden Bears is going to be high formation. It's going to be a toss to the far side. Makes one guy got miss, it. and he got enough for a first down in the Hawk territory. So the Golden Bears are marching. At the Hawk 35-yard line. High formation again for the Golden Bears. This is going to be an ISO to the inside. Oof. And he's going to get another five yards yeah. before getting taken down. Who's going to get that first turnover, Jim? That might be the deciding factor. Yeah. Could very well be. Boy, it'd be nice if the Hawks can force a turnover here, punch that ball out. Second and five. Full back up the middle. And then another Golden Bear first down. He's pounding it right in the middle. Yeah, they're finding something they like and they're sticking with it. Boy, you like to see what side of the trenches gets better in the fourth quarter. You know, those three yard runs can turn into five, five yard, yard runs. runs. By the fourth <laughs> quarter, there's seven yard <laughs> runs. And that's what we're seeing here early here in the fourth quarter. The Golden Bears are marching. Sticking with this I formation. This is going to be an inside run. It's going to be a touchdown for the Golden Bears. A 25-yard touchdown run. The second one of the night for Rother. That's going to make the score 13 to 12. So the Golden Bears are going to line up for two. What an answer by the Golden Ooh, Bears. That was. Boy, and you can just tell those holes were getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so a big two point conversion here. A bootleg pass. And he's going to be no good. no good. Nice tackle by, was that Brady Worth and Braxton Knipe? So Remsen, St. Mary's Hawks 12, Bishop Garrigan, Golden Bears 13. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors, Hawk Football. Lloyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible, keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. Welcome back to Fuller Digital Solutions, St. Mary's football. Just started the fourth quarter and the Golden Bears punching in from 25 yards. Second touchdown for Caden Rother. Boy, the Hawks need an answer here, Jim. Line drive kick. Knipe's gonna get a chance to return it. He's got some space. He's still on his feet to the 35-yard line. 
Nice return. Hawks are going to get great field position. So, Jim, we're on the road. It's time for trivia question. We're on the road again here in the second round of playoffs. Can you tell me the first ever road football game in the playoff, the first playoff football game for the Hawks on the road? Was it at Gilmore City? No. No. It was not. God, I thought I had it. That was a great guess. <laughs> That was the... Uh, was it Alta Aurelia? Or, uh, it was Aurelia. Aurelia. It was the first away playoff football game for the Hawks football program. This is Walshman on the keeper. Boy, he made a couple guys he, miss in the backfield. That could have been a huge he tackle He made something out of nothing there. But my next question was going to be, what was the first... So that we lost Aurelia. What was the first win on the road? Was that was Gilmore that City? Gil yeah. Was that Gilmore City? So Twin River Valley? Twin River Valley. Home of Dallas Clark. Yes. So that was your trivia question of the night. We got ourselves a ball game here in the fourth quarter. Hawks are down by one. Second and eight. Walshman fakes the coin, runs it up the middle. Now he cuts it up. Oh, one guy to be. Oh. Almost broke a big tackle, but he gets enough for a first down into Bishop Garrigan territory. Boy, he was inches away. Ooh, little shoestring trip up there. Boy, Walshman, he's going to be tired <laughs> tomorrow. Nine minutes left. And it's going to be end of the season for one of these teams. So the Hawks are going to have Walshman alone in the backfield. Fake to Harpen. Oh, Hunter Pick leading them. Gets a block from Hunter Pick and cuts it up. And he's going to be six at or the 25-yard line. Another inside the 25 picks up a nice chunk of change. We'll call it six yards. But I tell you what, the Golden Bears defense back did a good job just stalling as long yes. as he could have until his buddies come over and help him. Cross our fingers, hope we get no pre-snap penalties Ooh. on this drive. Second and four. This time, Coink joins Walshman in the backfield. Coink up the middle. Hang on to it, there you go. First down, nice run up the middle. You know, I like that play call, it gives Landon a little time to catch his breath. Right. They'll make it third and short. This is where you could just be like Bishop Garrigan going to eye formation. Quarterback sneak it. Let's just get the first down and move on. Inside the Golden Bears 20-yard line. Gun T formation. A bubble oh, snap. No. Walshman's going to get taken behind the line of scrimmage. A big loss. That's going to make it fourth and five now for the, the Hawks. Boy, it's a huge down. Seven minutes left here in the fourth quarter. That's why I like that under center, Jim. Right. Looked like he was trying to run without the ball first. Boy, a lot of confusion for the Hawks. Walshman drops back to pass. Pass some pressure. Breaks a tackle, throws it up. Incomplete pass. So a big stop by the Golden Bears. Boy, lucky Landon just got the ball off. Oh, it, very It was going to be a huge sack for about 20 yards. He was in their clutches. I tell you what, the, Haw the Hawks got their head down. Pick them up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 a lot of game left. Yeah, Let's get a three and out and get the ball back. Seven minutes left. So the Hawks need an answer here on defense. But if you're the Golden Bears, you go right back to the I formation. Yeah. And that's what they do. They run an ISO here to the near side. The Hawks have it. Only about a yard pickup. So nice job by the Hawks. Boy, what a ball game here tonight. 
6.30 left in the fourth quarter, 13-12. Second and nine. Boy, if time is on your side, if you're the Golden Bears. Yep. Just want to eat up some territory. and This is going to be a toss to the outside. And picks up a couple yards. Nice run. Boy, if you're the Hawks, you're trying to punch that ball out. Trying yes. to get that turnover. And the Bears are trying to stay inbounds. Yep. They ran that bootleg pass way down here. It was wide open. We'll see if they can come back to that here on the third down and seven. I mean, don't get too complacent. Still run your offense. Yeah, yep. And gun formation. Quarterback's going to keep it. Now he cuts it up to run. He's got enough for the first down. Still on his feet. Into hard territory. What a play by the young sophomore. Five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. What a huge conversion that there. That was huge. And now they get back to their favorite formation tonight, the I formation. We need our big guys here to step up. Yeah. Somebody's got to make the big play. This is going to be a run, and Coink! There's one. Shoots up right the middle. Nice play by Brady Coink. Boy, Coink shot out of a cannon there, it looked like. <laughs> Boy, a huge tackle for loss. Second and 12. Well, the Golden Bears are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Snap it under yep. five seconds. Keep the clock running. And this is going to be a zone left. Running back breaks one tackle. That was Coink on the... Yep. Coink missed the tackle. This will be third and seven. Big down here. The Golden Bears are at the Hawk 31 yard line. Boy, this would be a, I mean, interesting to see if it's two down territory. You got to yeah. stay, with, stay with what you're doing, keep running the ball. I mean, hopefully they drop back to pass and Hawks can make a play and try to pick it off. This is going to be a run. Coink meets Stopped him right at the up. line of scrimmage. Ty Tritz, a tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Make it fourth and seven, fourth and six. Decision time now. Punt it and rely on your defense, or do you go yeah, for it? Yeah, do you it? let your defense ride it out, punt it inside the five-yard line? But it's only, you know, if he goes in the end zone, you're only gaining 15 yards, so you're better off just going, going for, for it. Going for it. But uh, lucky for them, they can take it all the way down and call, probably call a timeout and think about it a little longer. 2.40 left here in the fourth quarter. So we're going to get a timeout, a timeout, and we'll take a timeout with them. It's hot football. Family has been providing trusted funerals since 1943 when Joseph and Adele Fish bought Remsen's only funeral home. Beginning in 1976, Joe's son Joel and his wife Jean continued the tradition of being a family owned and operated business. In 2009, David and Elizabeth Fish carried the family tradition into the future and now offer monuments. The Fish family is honored to assist you in your time of need, offering care and compassion. Fish Funeral Home and Monuments in Remsen, our family serving your family since 1976. 1943. Welcome back to Hawk Football, Fuller Digital Solutions. We have ourselves a fourth and six. Jim, this is where you make your money on offense coordinator, right? Yeah. <laughs> you make your millions yeah. of dollars a year yeah. at the Catholic yep. school here. 
earn your bonus money too. Yeah, this is where you draw up your perfect play for six yards. But I tell you what, they have a quarterback that doesn't turn the ball over much. Right. So you gotta like your chances getting the ball in his hands. Well, huge play for the Hawks defense. Need to stop here. And it's gonna be a oh. toss. And now it's gonna be a jump pass, a wide open, a trick play. Touchdown, Bishop Garrigan. What a play call. That was a unique play. Oh, we got flags all over the place. It's gonna be the on sportsmanlike conduct by the Golden Bears spiking the ball. But what a play call on fourth and seven, a trick play. That was, that was a jump throw then that was too. A jump throw, he, it was a reverse pass. What a play call at the perfect timing. You know, everybody at, at first thought, what are you doing on yeah. a jet sweep? And then, uh, boy, the receiver is wide open. Yeah. Easy touchdown. All the Hawk defense got sucked up to the reverse. and But an unsportsmanlike conduct. It'll be interesting to see if Tim takes it on the kick because it's a seven-point game. I wonder if he can take it on the try to push it back and make it a Because if they go for two, that makes it a two possession. Yeah. I think I would go for two here and try to make it a two-point. Difference, yeah. I mean, the Hawks don't try to, I mean... But the, and, the, and that's what they're going to do. Hawks are, or the Golden Bears are going to try for two. High formation. It's a play action pass. Wide open receiver again. Scrambling to throw it. It's going to be caught. And it's going to be a two possession game. 21 to 12. Two twenty-seven left here in the fourth quarter. Boy, that was huge, Jim. Yeah, I don't know what is. the rules are, but I wouldn't have let them get that two-point off. No, no, no You've way. You've got to keep it a one-possession yeah. score. So if you can take that penalty, force them 15 Back. yards, yep. you got to take it there. The kick does you no good if you're down two scores. No, nothing. Like I said, I don't know what the penalty is, but if that was an option, you think head coach Tim Osterman would have forced them back there. Holy cow, what a turn of events. <laughs> that the was Hawks it. had a fourth and six. And the they, Golden Bears called a timeout and drew up the perfect, perfect play, play call with a reverse pass that was worked to perfection. Boy, and give credit. I can't remember who threw the ball, but he had pressure in his yeah. face. Had to do everything just to get it to the receiver. Yeah, because they were bear, we were bearing down on him. Boy, so the Hawks are down two possessions, 227. Well, this is Braxton Knipe at the 23, across the 30. Cuts it up across midfield, still on his feet. So first and 10 for the Hawks. At the Golden Bears 34. Oh, well, you're gotta be in a little sense of urgency now. Yeah, Tim, now you gotta percent. rush things a little bit more. You gotta score twice. Boy, and the Golden Bear crowd are on their feet. Walshman drops back to pass. Pass some time. Now he's just gonna chuck it out of bounds, throw it away. Smart move by Landon Walshman. Nice coverage by the Golden Bears in the secondary. So second and 10 for the Hawks, 2-14. This is Walshman, drops back to pass. 
Has some time. Now he's going to get it to Harpenall. Harpenall gets it across the 20. And now it just ran out of bounds at the 14-yard line. First and 10 for the Hawks. Bunch set here to the near side. This is Walshman on the carry. He's going to get ran out of bounds. Not much there. Second and eight for the Hawks. Exactly two minutes two left, minute, Jim. Two minute warning. Boy, what a what a fourth quarter here by the Golden Bears. Scoring the only two touchdowns. So Walshman and Coink. This is going to be a reverse. A reverse pass there over the is. middle. Oh. It's going to be an incomplete pass. Boy, the Hawks tried to answer with their own trick play and they had it. Just God. definitely just open. Missed. The receiver, that was Braxton Knipe over the middle. It's going to make it third and eight. Boy, the crowd here for the Golden Bears is getting pretty loud. Two seconds left on the play clock. Hawks have to take a timeout. Oh, after a thing complete pass, the worst thing that you could have done is take a timeout there. Uh, so third and nine, the Hawks take a timeout. We'll keep it here. Looks like we're confused about where we need to be. Yeah, and a, and a lot of these things are pre-snap. Yeah. I mean, uh, stuff that, you know, Bishop Garrigan isn't doing. It's, it's just our own fault. Uh, yeah, right? our own it's, fault. But you look at pre-snap penalties throughout the game. We have to oh. have about 60 yards, 65. I mean. So you're obviously in two down territory here, Jim, with third and nine. Um. So you don't need to try to get nine yards. Just try. No. To, you just need to run an efficient play that you know you can yep. run well, and, and get a positive gain. Whether that's four yards, five yards, you know you, you got to go for it on fourth down, no matter what. Just want to make it manageable. So third and nine. Walshman alone in the backfield. And he's going to keep it. He's got big tight trits in front of him. He's still on his feet at the goal line. Touchdown. Landon Walshman, 14-yard touchdown run. <laughs> so a big answer for the Hawks. Making the score 21-18. That'd be nice. The Hawks get their first two-point conversion Ooh, of the night here. Yes. But we'll see if that costly timeout, though, after that incomplete pass comes back and haunts them. So Walshman drops back to pass. Has a lot of pressure. It's going to be incomplete pass. Another failed two-point conversion. Rims. Rims and St. Mary's Hawks 18, Bishop Garrigan, Golden Bears 21. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Gangler Feed Service in Remsen is your complete farm store. We feed all farm species, and we're a Hubbard, Kent, and Big Game dealer. Whether it's sprayers, grain banking, corn drying, or feeding your animals, we're your complete farm store, and service is our business. Gangler Feed Service in Remsen. Call them at 786-2234 or stop in and see them. 
service is our business at Gangler Feed Store, Remsen. Welcome back to Hawk Football. Well, we've already seen one failed onside kick. We're about to see uh, yeah. another onside kick, but now they know it's coming. <laughs> yeah, you know it's coming this time. So 21-18. What a ball game here. The winner moves on. The loser starts basketball season. It's going to be Hunter pick to kick things off. 146. And it's going to be a bouncing uh, kick. Yep. And Garrett like high bounce. it. Not a bad kick, though. I mean, no, no. This, this puts them back at a 25 yard line. They're not. You know, the Hawks got to make a stop here. You got two timeouts. We'll see if that last timeout hurt the Hawks. That hurt, by yeah. It off on the offense there. Need after an big, incomplete pass. Need some big stops here. So this is going to be a quarterback sneak up the middle. Still on his feet. What a quarterback sneak. Picks up about six yards, seven yards. And now the Hawks take their time out. We'll keep it here. Boy, if you're Bishop Garrigan, you like to have a quarterback sneak for seven yards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just it. the whole school body moving you forward. I would, I would think they're probably going to run that two more times. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, you'd be foolish not to. You got a six-three, three hundred fifteen-pound center. Should be able to make a little bit of room. Boy, if uh, go back to that fourth down play call by Garrigan with the trick play and. What a play call. The oh, unbelievable. And just they executed on top of it. Oh. So here we go, second and four. That's another quarterback sneak. This time he's not getting anywhere right at the line of scrimmage. And then the Hawks call their last timeout. He's going to make it third and four. Well, Jim, I, I, if you're Bishop Gary, and you got to be confident that everything's open in your playbook. And the way they've yep. been running the second half with the eye formation, the bootleg passes, it just everything's opening up, oh. especially that bootleg pass. We've oh, seen a, that was true. a lot of wide open receivers. I wouldn't be too hesitant to call that play. No. And and you tell the quarterback, you know, if you roll out, if it's not there, just slide, keep that clock running. Right. Um, but if he is there, throw it and let's. Hawks have no timeouts, no timeouts left. No timeouts left. The first down seals the deal. Yeah. And lucky for us, our two big seniors are on the defensive line. We need to call on them now. Yep. Hunter picking Ty Tritz. And it's going to be a sweep out here. And it's going to be a first and down for the Golden Bears. Right at midfield, and that should seal the the game for the Golden Bears. This will knock off the defending the state, state champs. champs. Oh, what a job by Bishop Gary and Golden Bears. And there's the first quarterback, Neal. Oh, 
And I think they just have to snap it one more time here. And, and that's going to do it. That's it. The Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears beat the defending state champs 21 to 18. What a ball game here for the second round of playoff football. It was a tremendous game. There was both momentum switches throughout the game. And then that trick play. Boy, just uh, in shock right now. I mean, I've never called a game where the Hawks have gotten beat. It's always been at the Dome. <laughs> yeah. And uh, kind of don't know what to do really now. We don't have a – but, uh, wow, great effort by the – St. Mary's football team. Exactly. Uh, great season once again. Uh, you know, a lot of people had their doubts losing all them seniors from last year. Uh, but just want to thank the three seniors that came back, oh. gave it all. The Ty Tritz, the Hunter Pitt, Colby Penning. Had a great year. Tremendous. And uh, just. A tremendous career. Yeah, tremendous career. And unfortunately, it's just a couple plays away from not winning this ball game. Zero turnovers for both teams, but just. Uh, uh. Yeah, just uh, it just hurts, you know, and yeah. especially oh. for these seniors, yeah. you know, losing their last game. You know, they're not used to it. They're used, to, but uh, you know, give credit to Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears. Oh yeah, uh, they came and they weren't scared. Had a good game plan, and they executed. And they executed. But uh, well, I want to thank all the sponsors for making this possible throughout the year. I want to thank uh, Jim for calling the game with me. I want to thank Mitch on the camera. Uh, I don't think we'll do any post-game interview with Coach Osterman. But uh, congratulations to St. Mary's Hawks once again. Another beautiful right. season um, and something to motivate them in the offseason. Exactly. We've got a lot of juniors yes. uh, that are going to be hungry after this loss. <laughs> and uh, so they get a chance to redeem themselves next year. Uh, and I know they will. So yeah. uh, we look forward to next year. Uh, we also look forward to the upcoming basketball season, both men and women. And women. Uh, but the football season is unfortunately done here tonight. Uh, and uh, well, that's boy, what nine and one record. A nine and two record. Nine and two. And uh, no, you know, nine and one. Nine and one. Yeah, nine yeah, and one. Nine, nine and, and one. one. Sorry, a nine and one record that most teams would love oh. to have, yeah. and these kids are are crushed. But right. the yes. nine and one season just yeah. talks about uh, the culture we have. You know at the school and uh boy hats out to the st mary's hawks football team the seniors once again hunter pick colby pinning and ty tritz that unbelievable season career like you said um and congratulations to bishop garrigan yes Bogany. good Bears. luck to them on the uh, next yeah. game and absolutely good luck to them and but uh thanks everyone for making this possible yep. and thanks and to fuller digital solutions fuller digital. for allowing us yeah and uh everybody have safe travels home but uh it's going to be your final score of the season. It's going to be Bishop Garrigan, Golden Bears 21, Remsen St. Mary's Hawks 18. This is uh, so long from Ryan Hayek and Jim Wesselman. The Hawk football is over. We'll be back in basketball season. <laughs> Hey, you guys do too. You got it. Hey, good luck next week. You just seemed pretty clean. I didn't see much dirt yeah. on either side. Oh, it was a good football.